Hello everyone and welcome to Story by Data. Today I'd like to provide a quick overview and demo of Power BI, the desktop version. So I do have the desktop version open here and the first step we're going to take is to get data, which means we're going to import data from a data source. Once I click that, it asks me, and these are the most common, and obviously you can click on more uh, types of data connections. I'm going to go ahead and use Excel. Um, as a sample data source, let's, let's use the Superstore US 2015, which is just a sample Excel sheet that I like to use for my demos. Now, our Superstore data set has three tabs. We have orders, returns, and users. I'm going to select the orders tab and say load. So Power BI quickly loads the data in. And what it does here is it shows the tab name and it shows the fields that are available for our visuals. Now let's go ahead and play with it. So these are the types of visuals you can create. Let's go ahead and try to create a map view. So we're gonna obviously need some kind of location. So we're gonna select city, and let's select profit as our measure value. And we can also expand and contract the chart and make it look how we want. Once I click out of that, you can see all the fields become blank again. And we can go ahead and create a different chart. We can create sales and then it shows us the total sales. We can change this sales bar into this type of chart. We can create, um, let's say, sales by ship mode, and we can show it as a funnel chart. And obviously, you get the hang of it just by playing with it. So I'm going to go ahead and show a couple more options. Let's say we want to see the customer segment and the profit by customer segment. Right away, it builds us a table view, and it highlights the table here. But what we can do is we can alter the view. Let's say we want a a donut chart. We just click on it and it immediately creates it for us. If we hover, we get to see the customer segment and the profit. What I like about this is it also shows you the percent of total. In this case, it's about 22 and a quarter percent. And we can we can make it smaller, we can move it around, so it's it's pretty cool in that sense. What other chart can we show? We can create simple bar charts. So let's say we want the product category and we can show we can show the shipping cost by category. And here are the bar chart options. You can have a bar chart going across, you can have a bar chart going up and down. Another chart I like to use is the scatter plot. So the scatter plot we can use the profit and sales and let's also include the customer name so then it'll create a customer name scatter plot for us you can also customize um, the colors the fonts of all of these charts once you click into it you get all of these options you have the x-axis the y-axis you can switch these around you can um, you can change the sizes you can click around and you know, turn the axes on and off. For example, if you turn them off, it would look like this. We can remove the title, add the title. So definitely play around with it. We can obviously change borders. It's a lot of formatting. Um, and you know, we can have the default colors change to, let's say if we want red or pink or, or anything. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.